It's either you gonna repent or you gonna perish. Thus said the Lord, feel me? For my people, look, they have cast lots for my people. That idol can be nothing for you. You cast that away right now, brother. Me and my brothers gonna rejoice, and the angels gonna rejoice. Rich shit, what? Rich shit. All this kind of thing. Rich shit. And I ain't in the playing games about prophecy. The um, the Israelites are God's chosen people, right? And they are above all the other nations of the world. Follow me, right? And I will make you mighty Hebrew kings. They had felonies. They used to call my brothers felons. Now they mighty priests. He saw humble down and kissed his boot. Boy, get on your knees. Ears, let him hear. If any man, you hear that? If any man has ears, let him hear. Wait, and, what does it say that? You're reading, you're reading the King James right, version. Which, what version are you reading? I don't know. That might be the NIV. That might be the. Who knows? 317 verse 16. You see that verse 16 where it says, Him that have ears, let him hear, right? Okay, the KJV is saying, He who have ears, let him hear, right? And when he was entered, and to the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. Parable. The parable, right? So he's speaking in parable right now, right? And he said unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do ye not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him, because it entereth not into his heart, but into his belly, and goeth out into the drought? purging all meats and he said that which cometh out of the man that defileth the man for from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts right. adulteries fornications murders thefts covetousness wickedness right. deceit lasciviousness right. and evil eye meaning his doings right the things that he do right that makes him wicked right mm -hmm. blasphemy pride foolishness all these evil things come from within right. and defile the man. Right. Yeah. So if that if that was the same conversation that uh, Jesus had with his apostle, right? One was referring to food, and the one was referring to the the revelation that you gave earlier about you know accent. Accent. Yeah. So how does that correlate? How do those two conversations correlate? If this was the same conversation, speaking? it's it's correlate because a lot of so-called Christian Christianity Christianity they doctrine they believe that you can eat whatever you want, right? Those precepts that they go to, which are Mark 7, Acts 10, they like to go to those precepts and say, look, hey, I can eat pork. Hey, look, I can eat whatever I want. But when you actually eat gold in the precepts, it's not even talking about, it's talking about washing of your hands. Acts 10 is talking about people, men. So that was the whole premise of making that correlation of saying, but, Really, you only went there because you went there. Yeah, so, I don't understand that at that point. Right. We went there because you went there, OT, okay. because you brought, we heard, you heard us reading Isaiah 66, verse 15, and then we talked about a, a thing that. A Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, King. Okay. My friend, you heard us talk about Isaiah 66 and 15 on down, reading about this uh, swine abomination. So he asked us a question about it. And then you went from there to Acts 10, 
And then from there, you went to Mark 7. Well, you, even, yeah, you, went to, you mentioned Mark 7. So that's the reason why we correlate what we're talking about, the convert. So you're saying that meat don't defile you? Yeah, it's, it's what is your heart? What are you doing? Are you... Are you are you love your neighbor as you love yourself? Are you loving God? Are you love your neighbor like God loves you? So he read to you the prophecy that you agree does not happen, where the Messiah is going to come back and judge people for eating meat that is called an abomination, pig and rat included. So how does that coincide with what you're saying here in Mark seven? No, I'm not saying that's like what you're saying. I just wanted to make sense, like you know. One thing is about eating meat and saying, you know, they're going to be judged for that. We need some particular sort of meat. Right. And then the other time he says that it's what goes in your, in your, in your, you know, stomach comes out of, you know, the toilet. Right. It doesn't defy what comes out of your heart. Right. So now my question is, for the ordinary reader, how would it understand that? You how could it, you, you know what I'm trying to say? You got to read the whole context. You can't just take, oh, I'm, I'm thinking this is, because what you... Honestly, just to be frank, I mean, just one thousand percent with you, brother, because you are a brother. We love our, we love our people. We want them to know the truth. You just heard something from what the Christian pastor said. Our, our doctrine. It's a doctrine. I was reading myself. I just wanted to understand. So if you would, I'm, no, I'm saying that doctrine of you can eat whatever you want when you get when you read Mark seven or Acts ten is a doctrine in Christianity, right? So when, like I said, when we read Isaiah sixty six, it's talking about prophecy according to what's going to happen in the end of the world, right? So if the end of the world said you can't eat abomination food, when you go back to uh, Leviticus 11, it states all the abominable foods that you can, can and cannot eat. The Levitical priest, the Levitical uh, foods, right? So the dietary law. When you go, when, so when you come back into Mark 7 and Acts 10, it, you can't say that you can eat whatever you want when the end of the world eschatology precepts said the glory is going to kill you if you eat whatever you want. You get what I'm saying? That makes sense? So that's what I'm saying. We got to make it make sense and make the Bible harmonize so it can, so it won't be confusion. That's all we hear. It's like, okay, I can eat whatever I want, but if this precept said fire and brimstone, he come and slay many, that's the end of the world. That haven't happened yet. You get what I'm saying? So, fire and brimstone. Believe in the Holy Spirit or not? Yeah. yeah. We believe in the Most High Father. We believe in His Son, Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit. Yes. God. God. That's a good point. Right? That's a bomb. Is that where you was going with that? And, and yeah, because I just wanted to understand that because you know. I, I, I got I got two precepts for him. Let me get Psalms 11 and um, 11. And bring this precept up. This is you gotta harmonize the precept, brother. And this is how we harmonize the precept according to the Bible. This Isaiah chapter twenty-eight, verse ten. Right. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept. Right. Precept upon precept. You know, verse here, verse there, right? Cross reference. Line upon line, right. line upon line. Right. Here a little, right. and there a little. Right. For with stammering lips. So it's for there little and here little. So it gotta make it. Make, you gotta make it make sense all through the precepts because the Bible is, there's no contradictions in the Bible. Despite what anybody say in the world, despite what the Islam say, you don't you don't care. You gotta really prove that it's contradiction in the Bible. You gotta prove that you're a liar, right? And this is ultimately how you really get the, the spirit, right? This is the book of Psalms 111 and 10. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. What? That do his commandments. So everybody that have understanding, most of the time they going they keep in the commandments. Not most of the time, all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time. You gotta have the fear of the Lord and you gotta keep the commandments of the Lord. That's how you have good understanding of what's going on. Instead of being tripped up on Mark seven when it's actually going to washing your hands in right, right. Acts ten when it's actually talking about traditions. We can read the whole full context of Acts 10. It's literally talking about the end all people. And there he says, all people. You know what I'm saying, brother? That makes sense? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, so basically, you guys still follow the um, old Leviticals, like uh, laws, rules? We follow the, you know, as the Torah. The Torah. Torah, the Tanakh, and we follow the, uh, the New Testament as well. We follow the whole Bible. We follow Christ as well. We follow everything. We follow everything. The whole role. We take the whole role into context. That's right. All right. Not just the New Testament, no. Not just the Old Testament, no. So even the original, the 
But what do you mean? But for you anything, you've been washing with the hands. Well, that's a, that's a fact. <laughs> I'm just asking, man. I'm just asking. That's a tradition. No, no, I'm asking. So you're, you're, you're washing everything you eat, you're washing your hands. That's a tradition. You can, but it's a tradition. That's, that's, what, that's what the whole point was. That's right. what Christ was saying. That's, that's just a tradition. It's not a law. It's not a, Levit, that's not a, a law that you can say, hey, hey, that's It's going to make you clean. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to make you clean. That's how you know the law is not done away with. Right. Because of what Christ said. Yeah, but the, they weren't Jews. There's one, I don't know what time when Peter was eating with somebody that was Gentile. Cornelius? I don't know who we was eating with. Then Paul came in. Gentile. Gentile. Yeah. That's in uh, um, Galatians 3. Galatians. No, 2. So who was wrong there? Was Peter the wrong or Paul wasn't the wrong? No, but the, the whole... Let's get, let's get that. Let's ask uh, Galatians uh, 2. Galatians 2. Because the whole deal with that that whole that whole thing is Paul, when you know Paul, he, you know, he got the... You know, I ain't gonna say new revelation, but a, a, the Lord was dealing with Paul. Yeah, yeah. Sent him to the Gentiles. So, so yeah, okay. he sent him to the Gentiles, and um, Peter and them, they was only really sent to the, the lost the circumcised. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. You gonna start there? Yeah. It's the book of Galatians. For that because you got on because, hey, you like, hey, what you doing? I see you. You mess with him, and you acting like this is not your brother. Because ultimately, that was the whole, that's the whole. And that's the whole thing of the New Testament. Right. The New Testament is to grab back in the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom and put them back together. Right. Because when you right. think about, when you take about the Jews, the Jews is what? Only three sects of, of the nation. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right. right? So what happened to the other what happened to the other tribes? You got you got Issachar, you got Naphtali, you got Simeon, you got all these other tribes. Mm -hmm. What happened to these other tribes? Right? So that's the whole thing. Really, the whole concept of why Christ even came back, you see. Right. Exactly. Why Christ came back to break down that middle wall of partition because right. it was a split in the kingdom. Right. He came to separate that middle wall of partition to bring them back as, as one nation. Yeah. That's the prophecy in the book of Ezekiel 37. God. That's why Christ came. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Good, that's okay. We just getting a conversation. I, 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 I got plans, but I love what I'm doing. I love what you guys are doing. Like, this is guys, this can, is can, my we, can, can, can you give me ask you? Can you give us five minutes of your time? Five please, minutes, please, baby. please. It's 624, 630. We're timing. We're timing. We're timing. <laughs> so we're timing. It's 623. It's five, it's minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. What's your nationality? Nigerian, right? Ebo. Ebo? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see that? You see that? Look, Ebo, man. You know, like, a lot of our people, they got a lot of our people from there, and a lot of our people stay from there, right? I know. You know, so when we, we talk about the Bible, you know, my history, archaeology, and things like that, we could prove that, and a lot of our people, Nigerians, Ebo tried, the Yoruba tried, which us over here, we are Israelites. We are Israelites. How, how do we know that? We could get that word in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Seems like you know something, brother. So you you know I see you got Yahweh, you know, things like that on your uh on your sweater. So you know you is like okay, how, how you know you is like? My great grandfather. Your great grandfather you told you? My, my grandpa from my um my mom's side still like the oldest person in the village. Uh -huh. So our history is there. Okay. okay. So even when I know when um when England the England came to colonize Nigeria, bring right. Our original name was Biafra, so basically it's called the land of the rising sun. So, on this document, the sealed document in England, in the museum, it says the Igbos were one of the lost tribes of Israel. Right. So, that's kind of where the story comes from. See that? Okay. <laughs> Can you prove it with the Bible? Can you prove it with the Bible? Can you prove with the Bible? I know you're the ancestors. My dad, my dad actually, uh, the funny thing is, my dad, there's this book that they used to read called the book of Moses. Like, it felt like magic or something because everything that did according to that book actually came to pass and i don't know how they how you got it but he told me yeah, like that's one of the evidence that i had that my dad you know having my parents telling me these things they kind of like helped me and then our elders like old old elders tell us stories that you can like correlate that to the to the bible like oh you know their names that is like my name is chuba dream you blessed by god so those kind of things, like our names, like for example, I know, I know, that, like a lot of people here, like Black Americans, their names, like when when they came here as slaves, their names, they lost their names. And your name is what traces you back to your lineage. Yep. Same thing with, with Israel, their names. Once you lose your name, you lose your nationality, you lose yourself. So, my name is what I need. That's 
what I use as to trace myself back there. Just the meaning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. So, I get you. That makes sense because ultimately when you go to uh, Jeremiah 17, you know that, you know that, hey, you know, some of us, like us, like you said, us, for, for example, they have actually records of our names written down in the, in the record book. You could actually look up records and see. But we know by how we lost our heritage because of this. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. Right. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So what? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. Right. If you leave your name, hey, you leave your heritage. You're not knowing what's going on. You know, continue. That I gave thee, right. and will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. See that? Yeah. So that's how we know it. Look, the whole Bible really cites and, you know, speaks to us as a, over here in America because a lot of things correlate and then when we go back and so when we go back and we know of our people came from let's go for Africa then you go to archaeology you know, and then we know that land that we know as Nigeria when it's hey, the, hey, the land of Jews and we know hey through the Bible even 70 AD right over two million Jews fled to fled to Africa, Africa. Right. when the um when the um desolation and abomination came right. right so we know hey, all the facts they ties up you know what I'm saying, brother? Yeah. Hey, so you seem like you know something, baby. We got to have to hey, hey, see, hey, see each other again one day, man. You know, hey, hey, dialogue, you know, hey, you know, see what you know, and say what we know. And chop it up, it's good, man. So, like, you know, so you follow everything in the Bible. What you like, what's your, I mean, like, you believe that everybody's going to say. Everybody? If they want to be safe, they listen. You need humility to be safe first. Like, if you don't have that, you can't be safe. Now, what I mean by everybody, I mean everybody, like, every nationality, every race. Every nationality? Can every nationality and race be safe? And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, right. for he shall save his people, right. his, from what? The, his people right. from their sins. Right. So who's who's Christ people? I'm saying, I'm saying, who's Christ people? The Bible says it. Oh, I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I have a question. Hey, <laughs> to what you just said. Now, no, the Bible said. I ain't saying. Yeah, that. yeah. You refer to you. Right. You're phrasing the Bible, right? Well, the, we read the, the Bible. Yeah, you. Yeah, according to what the Bible just said. Right. Now, my question is, do you remember the day when, in the Bible, when, what's her name? When Israel marched against, they marched, what, there was a Joshua. ton of the, the, Jericho. 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 Yeah. And there was a whore Rahab. that got saved. Rahab. Yeah. Joshua 6. Now, can she not be engrafted into the family? Is she Israel? Huh? Is she Israel? She doesn't need to be Israel, like I'm saying, can she not be grafted? She's not an Israel. She can't be grafted. The whole grafted in is for, let me get Ezekiel 37. The whole grafting in is for Israelites right in the beginning. They gotta know about the splitting of the kingdom in first kings. First king got Solomon. It's after Solomon. Rome yeah, his son. His uh, sons, right? Yeah. So wow. you gotta know about the splitting of the kingdom in Ezekiel 37 is gonna prove it. And then even in Romans, it's even expanding on what's going on as well. But Ezekiel, Ezekiel is where they got it from. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Ezekiel. Hold on, we're, 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 Chapter 39, verse, uh, uh, actually verse, 15. verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, right. Moreover, thou, son of man, take thee one stick right. and ride upon it. Right. For Judah and for the children of Israel, right. his companion. Right. Right. His companion. Right. Then take another stick right. and ride upon it. For Joseph, Joseph. the stick of Ephraim, right. Right. and for all the house of Israel, right. his, companion. his companion. And join them one to another. Right. Into one stick, what? unto one stick, to one and stick. they shall become one in thine hand. They shall become one in thy hand. That's the whole crafting back. You can't be a part of a tree that's united. It's mine. Then. It's mine. Then. Go ahead. Well, but once Matthew one and twenty one is after that happened. So, Jericho. Okay. Who was the man that Peter baptized? 
And who was the one, the man that, um, there was another pastor, the one that Holy Spirit took him and he just disappeared. And then, uh, not, you know, not the one that went to heaven, right? You know, not Elijah. There's an apostle, uh, one of the 12 apostles that Jesus, well, Jesus had to back to heaven. Um, yes, that man was he a Jew? Uh, uh, follow the detail being unit. Was he a Jew? Was he a Jew? You received the you received the Holy Spirit, right? Abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. It was all a scattering of Judea and Samaria. Judea is the uh, the capital of the, of the southern kingdom. Samaria is the capital of what the northern kingdom. It was a Judas which was having the eunuchs, so the Judas came back to get to know his brothers. Well, well, it's the three type of eunuchs, right? Right. One is you know one that's like Paul. He made himself into a eunuch by not getting one. Gotta bring it up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 12. Bring it out. For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their mother's womb. Right. Was born, right? And there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. Oh, like you said, some of them eunuchs of men. Like for the king. And there yeah. be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. Right, so kingdom for heaven's sake. So speak like the eunuchs, right? So. Okay. I have, I have more questions in my okay. Now, now, jump down to the point. All right, verse twenty-six. And the angel, uh, Acts eight twenty-six. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down to Jerusalem to Gaza to the desert. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, had come to Jerusalem for to worship. Right. Why did he come to Jerusalem? Was he a Jew? But why, why did he come to Jerusalem to worship? To worship. It's a Jew, right? It says, verse uh, 28, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shear, so opened he not his mouth. And his humiliation, in his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. Who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speakest thou the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him, Yahweh shot. Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered, I said, I believe right. that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he was on his way rejoicing. So that's, right, and Philip was found as a docent and passing through the priests and all the cities to the same. So he, he got he, he got beamed up and went to go preach the word of the Lord. Who are able to preach the words of the Lord? Anyone anointed by the Holy Spirit? Just give Romans. Anyone anointed by the Holy Spirit can preach the word of the Lord? He's saying that this this man, the Ethiopian, he was not an Israelite. Right, but this is that's what he's saying. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking a question because you guys, according to what you read, uh -huh. you said only these people is only that's all God said to us and you know my people, whatever. He's referring only to Israelites. Right. What I'm people. saying is, and I said is the people that believe that confess their mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord, and He came in flesh right. and made them the Lord and, and their God. Now remember, before Jesus went back, He said, "Go into the world, preach, make disciples of all men and creatures." He did not just say Jews. So unless you have a verse that can refer to what Jesus himself said before he went, then it's not only the Jews that are saved. Because the Jews, the Jews, if you read Revelations, it's about 144,000 of them. 144,000 who? The 
Jews for 144,000 of them. You see? Okay, so. It's 144,000. It's 12,000 for each tribe. For each tribe. For each tribe of the Jews, right? No, Israelites. That's my point. So you're saying Jews is not just I mean, that's what I meant when I'm saying Jews. And then you got a great multitude. Yeah, when I'm saying Jews, I'm referring to Israelites, right? So now, if it's only 144,000 out of 12,000 for each tribe, the are they are they they're saved, right? Those no, guys the, are saved. no, no. The elect, the higher elect men is going to be 144,000. The, the government authority. Then you have the great multitude, which are Israelites as well. So, in other words, according to what you guys have read, you're saying only the Israelites will be saved. Well, no, I didn't mean to say nothing. Now, according to the scriptures that you read, that's what the precept says. Right now. The Ethiopian guy that we spoke to. Like, I know, yeah, I'm gonna bring out a precept because you said, because he started preaching the word. I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna go to the precept to show you who is only able to preach the words of the Lord. Huh? Romans 9. You can start at, yeah, get to the point. Right, this is Romans 9 and 3. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, right. my kinsmen according to the flesh, right. who are Israelites, right. to whom pertaineth the adoption. Right, I need to graph the name. And the glory, right. and the covenants, what? and the covenants, and the giving of the law, right. and the giving of the law, so we only must, that was given the law to even repent from, right. and the service of God, the what? and the, the service, service of God. God. So we don't only want to have the service of God, we don't only prophets, we don't only teachers, we don't only Levitical right. priests, we don't only things that have the service of God, right. according to the Bible. So that man, he had to be an Israelite according to the Bible because only the Israelites pertain all those things. So then, then tell me, tell me this. When Jesus has said, go make disciples of all men, what does that mean? Disciples of all men. You say, you all nations. All, creation, all nations. It was only, it wasn't only the, go to, it wasn't only the, go to, to Acts chapter 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to, um, um, no, can we read that? No, we can read it, yeah. but I'm saying get these pieces of X2. How long do you guys come here? Let me get uh, Saturday, Saturday? Saturday? I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm gonna ask you something pertaining to that. What is that? Matthew. Hey. Matthew 26. Matthew 28. Verse 19, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So I got a question on that. When did Jesus ever teach salvation to the other nations? When did Christ ever say salvation was to the other nations? When did he ever teach salvation to the other nations? Right. Because what he's telling the disciples is, go teach the nations what so I taught come you. To the Jews first. And to the, and to the gen Thank Gentiles. You. Yes. And we're going we gonna to get why the yes. reason he said that. We're going to get the reason why he said that. Bring this up. You're going to finish it out? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand because Christians go to this and say, he said, teach our nations. But he said, teach our nations what I have taught you. Yes. So where did he teach so, salvation for the other nations? So, then tell me, what, what does that commandment mean? When the word is, I just said it. We, well, salvation we can, comes to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles. Because, so, so we, who are the Gentiles then? We know that according to the Bible, we can go to a, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 12, and we know the Gentiles are, like he said, are the Nordic, are the, the uh, Gentiles that was not keeping the commandments at the time. It was Hellenized. But let me get James 1 and 1. Uh, this is the so why he said go. Was James, when, so when he said go into all nations, was James there to receive that commandment? Right. He was a disciple, right? Right. No, but I'm saying he was with Christ. Uh -huh. He was a disciple. So he understood that commandment, right? To go teach all nations. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Read. Right. That's why. Because the 12 tribes are scattered abroad, all nations. I mean, let me get Acts 2. Look at Acts chapter 2 and verse number 1. So, so why did James not teach other nations? If he received that instruct that commandment from Christ, why is he only speaking to the 12 tribes of children of Israel? 
This is the book of Acts chapter 2 of verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Right? It says, And there appeared unto them clothed tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation un, out of every nation under heaven so that's why brother so we scatter everywhere that's going back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64 on down that we will be scattered in all nations of the corner so of the earth are you referring to the people being scattered as gentiles no. we are gentiles if you ain't living in that gentile state they can prove it. let's get um let's get um first corinthians first corinthians where we uh, 12 at the top. Ah, it's the book of uh, First Corinthians, chapter 12, and uh, verse number two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over. Uh, Salaki, uh, I want to get this real quick, just so you understand, right? So, so uh, First Corinthians, right? Chapter, okay. It says, "Ye know that ye were Gentiles." What? Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Said, slowly, slowly. I ye know that ye were Gentiles. Say that ye know you were past tense Gentiles. Because what do Gentile mean? It's First Corinthians. Oh. So what do Gentile mean? Well, really, it just means going, meaning going back to just nation, really. And if you're not, if you're acting like a Gentile, I mean, if you living like a, another nation you'd be considered as a gentile right. now he said you were gentile that means you couldn't actually be a gentile by nationality that means you could be something else now you get okay. do that make sense right so, got you. Good Samaritan woman. Remember her? Yeah. let's go to her. you know who she was you gotta prove it to him you gotta prove everything and, and get said, that in uh, um isaiah Y'all know who they're worshiping, the Jews know who they're worshiping. So, I don't have any context. I just don't understand the context. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that in, um, you got it in Isaiah. Oh, you got it, John. Get Isaiah, you got Isaiah. Uh, this last point, we, you, you can skedaddle. Every time you bring, every time you bring a point, we got to answer it. I'm going to start at seven. There, this is John four and seven. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said, him, said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drinketh of me, which am a woman of Samaria? That's the same connotation with Paul was saying to Peter, right? Same connotation. Why are you dealing with this? Why are you dealing with this? Exactly. Right. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Right. Jesus answered and said unto her, right. If thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that say unto thee, Give me to drink, right. thou wouldest ask of him, right. and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then has thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father, our father. Jacob, Jacob. Jacob, which have which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? He said, he said to her, our father Jacob. That means she's an Israelite by, by birth, right? It's right. the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter seven and verse nine. In the head of Ephraim. <laughs> Is Samaria? Is Samaria? And the head of Samaria is Ramaliah's son. If you will not believe, you shall not be established. So the Samarian lady is an Israelite. So, I have some questions. I know. We understand. We understand. Hey, you got it. Lord willing. Lord, no, 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 no. We ain't gonna be here next week. We're gonna be in Tabernacle. Keeping the Tabernacle. See that? All right, you ready? Hey, hey, hit us. Hey, hit us. Hey, hey, we answer that. We got social media and everything. Justice. She goes real. Justice. Okay. Yeah. All right, brother. Read Deuteronomy 16 and 16. That's why that Ethiopian eunuch went to Jerusalem to worship. He's an Israelite. Right. Kind of all his questions was wrapped around the same concept. Let's fuck from Mark from Mark 7 to Acts 10 to. You know what's beautiful about it? It's a Christian kid. 
Con. 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 I love conversations like this. Yeah, because yeah. he was harking me. I, he was really hard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's how you. That's why you have to know the written of the kingdom because you wouldn't understand none of this. That's right. And that's why they come. That's what the Lord be sending them up. Yeah. Because they be having questions about the pork and the, but they got out, they don't even understand. <laughs> hey, God. I... <laughs>